Welcome to Destined Nation. I'm Pastor Jadel and this is Quench Your Thursday. And every Thursday we talk about our worship to our wonderful God. So let's all stand up and let's worship the Lord. We praise your name, Lord. We worship you. We receive our praises. Let's sing, hear these praises. Hear these praises from a grateful heart. Each time I think of you, the praises talk. I love you so much, Jesus. I love you so much. Let's sing, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. My soul sings. In your presence, carry it on your wings. I love you so much. Jesus, I love you so much. you forever in your power ever just see oh, oh. lift my hands, hands lift my heart lift my voice to I love you so much, Jesus, I love you so much, Lord, I love you, Lord, I love you, my soul says, in your presence, carry it on your wings, I love you so Let's go grab our Bibles and let's open it to 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. It says here, For we walk by faith, not by sight. So our challenge for you is to post this on your Facebook timeline with the hashtag, hashtag destination and hashtag I accept the challenge. So these, as we face circumstances in life, always remember that we do not walk by sight, but we always walk by faith. So that's it for our verse of the week. And always remember that you are destined for Christ. Hello, teens! I'm Pastor Aika, and this is our Sing His Praise. Today, let's learn worship from Paul and Silas in Acts 16, 25-26. It says, All about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. And suddenly, there was a great earthquake, 
so that the foundation of their prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bonds were unfastened. Paul and Silas prayed and worshiped God no matter what circumstances they are going through. Teens, whatever challenges you are facing right now, still choose to worship God, be full of joy, and pray to Him. You know, when we pray, miracle happens. When we worship God, His power and glory is displayed. Their praying and singing was not heard only by God, but also by other prisoners. Can you imagine Paul and Silas, how they pray in the cell? To the point that the people around them, the prisoners with them, were able to hear it. Don't be shy to worship God in front of your friends, family, or anybody. May people around you see Christ in you and through you. Worship God even during hard times. Worship God at all times. Psalm 42 verse 8, But each day the Lord pours His unfailing love upon me, and through each night I sing His songs, praying to God who give me life. No matter when, no matter where, may His praises be on your lips always. And don't forget, you are destined for Christ. Hi there, teens! I'm Pastor Charlie, and welcome to another episode of Teens on Fire, where we get to know from you wonderful teens your views and opinions and see how on fire you are for the Lord and His Word. Let me welcome to you my co-host. Hi, teens! This is Kate. For today's episode, we will be learning about being an overcomer. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 17 to 18. For this light momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, as we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For, thing, for the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. So now we will be hearing the answers from our very wonderful teens regarding this topic. Are you ready? Let's go! Question number one. What do you mean by affliction? Can you give us one example? Affliction means any cause of pain. An example would be if you are sick or hurt. So, affliction is a condition wherein you are suffering or in distress. A very best example of this is whenever you are hurt or in pain, it is a feeling of distress, and it's an overwhelming feeling. For example, in a simpler sense, I can be afflicted by a loud noise. Question number two. What do you do when you are in trouble? I pray. Most of the time, it's just a short, quick prayer asking God for the time to pass. I would first pray to God to give me wisdom on how I would confront the situation. I would also ask my parents and pastors for support as well. Whenever I'm in trouble, or whenever I feel troubled in some way, I make sure to pray, to read the Bible, to read the scripture, worship, apply 2 Corinthians 4 verse 17 to 18 in your life. 2 Corinthians 4 17 to 18 For this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. As we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Afflictions or things that are making you suffer in these hard times are temporary. It's not gonna last forever. Make sure to better my fate. I should set my eyes on the eternal price. It says here in 1 Peter 5 verse 10, And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to His eternal glory in Christ, will Himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. I don't have to worry about the things that I'm facing because I am already assured that He will be able to restore and strengthen me. It's to continue my faith in God. Even though we may not be able to see God through our own eyes, God is still eternal. Thank you so much, teens, for answering our questions for today. Always remember that whatever we may go through in life, 
As we love God, He will work things out for our own good. Romans 8 verse 28, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to His purpose. Amen! And let us remember Romans 8 verse 27, Know in all these things, we are more than conquerors, through Him who loved us. Remember, teens, that we are overcomers. Amen. That's it for our Teens on Fire for today. Always remember, teens, you are destined for Christ. Hi, teens. Welcome to Compass. I'm Pastor Jodel, and this is Quench Your Thursday. And every Thursday, we talk about worship. Today, let's focus our attention on seeking God and living. Now, there are promises of God for those who seek Him. He said that our hearts will be revived. Psalm 69 verse 32, When the humble see it, they will be glad. You who seek God, let your hearts revive. Wow! Our hearts are going to be revived and there will be life once again if we go and seek the Lord. Now, is there anything important that you've been missing and you were like oh no i need to find that and how about the emotion after finding it oh you feel relieved your heart is revived from a heart that is so focused on worries and fears to a heart that is relieved and revived now it is very important that when we seek god our emotions are engaged because our hearts, after being filled with everything that this world can weigh it down, it is revived and relieved in the presence of God. Now, the Bible also says, when you seek God, you will not be forsaken. Psalm 9 verse 10, And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. When you seek the Lord, He will never abandon you. He will, he will stay with you forever. Now, as you become successful in pursuing someone, for example, in a relationship, in your future, right? Then you will receive a promise of loving and staying with each other. And it will take you a long time and even for the rest of your lives, faithful to each other. Now, it's the same thing when it comes to seeking God. When we seek God, it's not a one-time thing. It is actually a lifetime thing. And seeking the Lord will let us stay close with Him in a relationship forever. For as for God, He is always faithful. When we are faithful, He will prove Himself faithful too. Now, when we seek the Lord also, there is gladness and joy in our hearts. Psalm 40 verse 16. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say continually, Great is the Lord. Amen and amen. Seekers of God are joyful and glad people. So as you seek Him, you will experience great joy, teens, and you will experience gladness in your heart. God also promised that when we seek Him, we will find Him. Matthew 7, verse 7, Ask, and it will be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. Matthew 7, verse 8, For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, it will be opened. So when you seek him, you will find him. So, means, if you are going to set your heart in a pilgrimage of seeking the Lord, then you will find God. And when you find him, you will also find life. Amos 5 verse 4, For thus says the Lord to the house of Israel, Seek me and live. Seek God and let your lives live. Let your hearts live. Let your soul live in Jesus' name. And Amos 5 verse 6 says, Seek the Lord and live, lest he break out like fire in the house of Joseph and it devour with none to quench it for Bethel. Now when we seek the Lord, we will find Him. And when we seek the Lord, our hearts will live. Our hearts will be revived. Also, in John 14, verse 6, the Bible says, Jesus said to Him, I am the way, 
the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. Now, as we seek God, there is a promise of finding the real meaning of life. And that is finding Christ Jesus. So, thus, things, let us seek God continually. Let us set our hearts on a pilgrimage and in the lifetime of seeking the Lord, being faithful to the relationship that we have with Him. And as you seek Him, let your heart live in Jesus' name. Now, let us pray for you. Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord, for this time and opportunity that you have given us, O Lord God. Spend time knowing your word, seeking you, Lord God. And I pray for all the teens that they will set their hearts in seeking you, in loving you, in finding you, in knowing you more in their lives. Lord, we commit them to your mercy and grace. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, teens, for being here with us at Destiny Nation. See you again tomorrow, 5 o'clock. God bless you.